Hello out there YouTube. Today we are taking a look at the 7-in-1 Space Fleet uh, Solar Rechargeable Model Kit. It's one of these where you have a whole bunch of different pieces that you reassemble in different ways to form, you know, vaguely spaceships and space rovers and robots and all kinds of things. But this is absolutely one of the more high quality, fun kits that I have seen. It also works and is built really solidly compared to some of the other kits. Um, so anyway, so I'm just going to walk you through it. I'm not going to show you all the conversions. Just trust me, you take the pieces apart, you snap them together. Um, but I will show you all seven modes and how they work. Um, before we start, I just wanted to show you the little space rover. This is the simplest configuration of parts because it just has this motor unit, little wheel section, and this dome attached to it. Now this motor unit drives all the different modes, and it does so through um, basically two, but sort of three different power sources. Now, it has this little port in the back here, which you can plug either this blue battery unit or this solar panel unit into to power it. Um, in addition, it has this piece that holds two, I think they're AAA batteries, AAA or AA, and you can either plug it directly in, in some modes, or what you're really supposed to do is take this blue piece, plug it in, and then that will recharge this little blue battery, which you then use to power different modes. The other way you can charge the battery is to just plug the solar panel into it. So if you want, you can run this kit completely without using, you know, b battery cells at all. Anyway, we're going to cut here so that it has enough time to charge, and then we'll show you how it works. Okay, so now that we're all charged up, we take our little battery, we plug it in, and the wheels turn, and this little guy is speedy. Woo! So, yeah, that's the little space rover, quick 360. Most of the details are stickers, um, but they are cleverly placed so that, you know, in this case, you see the little lights. Pretty much all you need to, you know, create the illusion that this is a little space vehicle rolling around on the moon. Uh, but, yeah, so that's, the, that's our first one. And uh, just real quick, as we go through these different modes, some of them I'm going to show uh, using the battery. Some I'm going to show using the solar power. Uh, um, as you can see by the demonstration, the motor is really fast. So on some of them, it makes sense to use the solar panel, which makes them go a little slower, easier to see the motion. Anyway, let's move on. The other very simple build, and the first solar, is this little solar rover. You see he's got little three little wheels there. Solar panel on top of the motor unit. And if we plug him in, oh, and before we plug him in, this does hinge up and down so in all the different modes you can turn the solar panel to maximize exposure but if we plug them in obviously speed is determined by how much sun he gets so if we set him up low oh not that low the other solar build that uses uh, the one engine component is this spaceship. Now, it uses uh, this sticker to kind of sell that it has a cockpit at the front, it has these uh, wings, which are just a sticker. These are not real solar panels, obviously, real solar panel right here, um, but they sort of give it a wing-like shape. I've already plugged it in, as you can hear, and if we give it a little sun, The first mode using both of the gear boxes that come with it is the Space Dog, who is pretty cool, you know, just a little robot. Uh, on this one you plug the battery on the top and it gives them a very cool walking motion. Another very similar build is the Astronaut Unit. Um, as you can see is just sort of an upright version and if we plug in our battery get the kind of 
walking motion you'd expect. The space station build is very cool for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that it's the only one that's built sort of sideways. The, the wheels are on the top and the bottom so that it can spin around in a circle. Um, the second is that it is designed in such a way, it has an extra port here which you can plug the battery into, which allows it to not only run off of the solar power, but it will actually charge the battery at the same time. So, two in one. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just in terms of looks, it's, it's very cool. Um, you know, kind of simple, but it does use almost all the parts, so it has a nice complex structure. Anyway, um, first I'll show you using the solar panel. So you can see that it's running purely on solar power, but then if we plug this in, all right. So now, according to the instructions, it'll say it'll run slowly at first, and then over time it'll achieve sort of a moderate speed and just run and run and run while it charges that battery. So yeah, pretty cool. So the last mode we'll take a look at is the uh, larger robot build. Um, I like to think of this as the space station transforming a la the SDF-1 into a giant battle robot. Um, it uses almost all the pieces. Uh, it can be powered, of course, by the solar cells or the um, battery pack, but since he's got the main batteries built right into his chest, it's easiest to just plug him in. Let him do his thing. He's got a funny way of walking. The feet actually touch the ground. So, in addition to the wheels, he kind of walks side to side, which is kind of humorous. But yeah, so there you go. There's all the modes. Um, I really like this kit, it's fantastic. I love the way that both uh, that, that, that each uh, each configuration can either be powered by battery or solar. Quality plastic, quality parts, everything works. It's a lot of fun and definitely something that you know it's it's kind of in that that strange range where smaller kids it's hard for them to put it together and take it apart. Older kids may or may not be interested in it, but um, either way, it, it's it's kind of a fun little project and definitely something that if you're interested in these kits, I would go with this one. It is well worth the money. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching and take care until next time.